Regardless of how tall you are, trousers are probably the hardest category of clothing to buy for. Every body shape is so different, but then when it does come to petite sizing, we do have that sort of added extra complexity of finding the right length as well. I asked on Instagram at the start of this year what I could help you guys with, and a lot of the suggestions were finding trousers that actually fit. As someone who is five foot two, I completely get it. I have tried so many different trousers only to be disappointed because the length is just endless. <laughs> so in this video, I did a little shopping around on the high street. I tried out a couple of brands that I regularly shop from to see what they have on offer for us petite girls. I have six, I think it's six, <laughs> pairs of trousers that I have found that I think could work for you if you are of a similar height as me. I've tried to choose a few different cuts so that hopefully you can find something that you're looking for or something that suits you. And full disclaimer, I am not keeping all of these trousers. That would be crazy. I don't need that many pairs of trousers, but these are just my personal recommendations from what I've found shopping around. And obviously I wanna try them on for you so that you can see what they look like on a petite body versus a tall model online. <laughs> and hopefully you can find something that you're looking for. If you like this video, then please let me know. I've only tried a couple brands in this video, but there are obviously a load more brands to try. The quest for a good pair of trousers never ends. And I'm thinking I would like to extend this for jeans and other categories as well, but mainly jeans because they're such a big category in my own wardrobe. So yeah, let me know if you want me to carry on with this as a bit of a series. So let's start with Arquette. And as you guys know, I love Arquette. I wear a lot of their clothes, but they really don't cater to petite people in their trousers category because all of their trousers are so long. I could only find one pair of trousers that could maybe fit us petite girls. So I have these, which are the cropped cotton stretch trousers. And most of the time when I'm shopping online and something says cropped, then I assume that it would fit me full length. And you'll see that's quite possibly like a theme going through these trousers. So these trousers are quite a slim cut and then they have a bit of that sort of kick flare at the end. I have these on in a size 34, but I think that I would probably size up to a 36. As you can see in the videos, they're kind of tight on my waist and my thighs, but I actually prefer how they look on the Arquette model on the website. They're a bit she has a bit more room <laughs> in that area. But overall, I think they are a really comfortable pair of trousers. They have a really nice, thick, elasticated waistband. So like they'll stay in place on your waist. They won't sort of fall down and they have a nice stretch to them. You can move around in them. The description says mid rise, but on me, they are really, really high rise. Like they fall where my belly button is. So, I mean, I personally prefer a high-waisted look because that is what makes your legs look longer. Um, but yeah, just a note that it's, it's, it says in the description mid-rise, but they fall pretty high-rise on me. The material is 96% cotton and 4% elastane. So they have that really nice like stretch in them. You can move around in them. I would even possibly travel in them if you wanted to, you know, not wear sweatpants, I think this could be like quite a nice alternative. You really can move in them very easily. I think I am squatting down for educational purposes. <laughs> they also have two like real pockets at the back, which I think is a really nice detail. And I think that's what kind of makes them a bit less, I don't want to use the word sloppy, but that's the word that's coming into my brain. It, they're a bit more like elevated, I suppose. It's a bit more dressed up than just like a traditional legging. And of course, in terms of the length, I think that they are a really great length for us petite girls. They don't scrape along the floor. Um, they fit really well under, under? <laughs> they fit really well over my Converse's. And I think that's probably how I would wear them as like a really comfortable sort of weekend trousers. So that is the one option from Arquette that I found. These are the cotton cropped 
stretch trousers. So moving on to and other stories now, and I personally love and other stories for trousers and jeans. I think they've got just so many different cuts and colors that I've managed to find quite a few that I really like. And the first pair that I have to talk about because I wear them all the bloody time. I wear them all the time. Um, I get questions on them whenever I wear them because they're just such a good cut of trousers. They are these, they're called the relaxed press, gosh, I can't say it, relaxed press crease trousers. <laughs> and yes, I wear them all the time and I always get compliments on them and questions about where I got them from. And I've had these for like two years now. I think they took them off the website for a while, but then when I was searching, they're back. I found them and I'm so happy because I always get questions. And yeah, they are just, amazing. I didn't have to alter the length of them at all. They literally fall at the perfect place for trainers and heeled boots. Those are like my two main types of shoes that I wear daily. I just can't rave about these trousers enough. I can dress them up, I can dress them down. I like, I wore these on my 30th birthday. I wore them yesterday, like going to a cafe with my boyfriend. They're just the best. So next from and other stories, I've got these beigey ones. And these are, well, they have a really long name and I have my notes here. <laughs> these are the tailored high-waisted fitted trousers. And again, I think these are another really great cut, one that I wouldn't have to alter if I wanted to keep them. And I also think the color is really nice. It would work really well. I think all year round, I've got a pair of like very similar colored trousers and I pretty much wear them all year round. They are high-waisted, as the name suggests, which is great for making our legs look longer and making us look taller. They have a really straight cut, which I think is really flattering because it doesn't sort of hug you in any weird places. They just kind of fall down really nicely. And I also think the length is great for lots of different types of shoes. Again, I'm five foot two, so if you're a similar height to me, then I think this would work really well. I've worn them here with boots and a blazer just to show you that obviously you can dress up these trousers, but equally you can wear them with converses and a jumper on the weekend and have that sort of elevated, relaxed, casual look. And that's why trousers are just such a big staple. And I think they should be such a big part of your wardrobe because obviously they look good when you dress them up. They just easily look good because they have that tailored element. They're very smart, but at the same time, they're really comfortable to wear. They look great with trainers and they just dress up your relaxed outfits as well. I love the front pleat detailing, the two pockets at the back. I just bent my wrist really weirdly. <laughs> Does that look weird? And yeah, I just think this is a really, really staple trouser for your wardrobe. So the next pair of trousers that I have are these really nice sort of chocolatey brown ones. And they might be my new favorite pair of trousers. I think I might actually keep these ones. These are the wide press crease trousers. So these are a different sort of fit in that they are really long. <laughs> but I think they are really flattering if you wear heels. So obviously they're very high-waisted. Again, I pretty much only wear high-waisted trousers because they're high-waisted and then they elongate all the way to the floor. And if you wear heels underneath, your legs just look endless. I look so tall in these clips. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I do think I can only get away with wearing them if I wear my tallest boots. So in these clips, I'm wearing my Dear Francis boots, which I had a look on the website and they are eight and a half centimeters tall. So in order to wear these trousers, I would have to wear quite high heels with them. But I guess that's kind of the look. These are definitely sort of a dressier trouser. You know, if I'm going out for drinks or something, I would maybe wear something like this. But yeah, something to bear in mind, I do have to wear my highest heels with them. So again, I'm five foot two and I have to add that extra eight and a half centimeters on my feet in order to wear these. So if you're shorter than me or you don't have heels as high as that, these are trousers you may have to alter slightly, but I do think they would still work really well with sort of any kind of 
heel height that you want to wear them with. I just think they are a really flattering cut. I went for my usual size, which is a 32, and they just skim your hips and your waist really flatteringly. Is flatteringly a word? I don't know, but you know what I'm trying to say. I just think they look really good in that area. But you can definitely go up a size if you don't want them to be so tight around that area. I'm also a big fan of the material. They have this really nice sort of ribbed texture to them and they feel very soft. And yeah, I'm just really happy that I got to try these trousers because I think they are a really nice addition. I chose them in brown because I don't have a pair of brown trousers actually and I really like the colour of them. They're really kind of rich, chocolatey brown. I've got a friend's birthday soon <laughs> and I might wear these to her birthday. <laughs> so lastly for another stories, we have these press creased flare trousers. I, I can't with these tongue twistery names. Like I can't get the words out. These are really similar to the last ones in that they are super high-waisted and really long. Again, I can just about wear them if I wear my high boots with them. So if you are like five, two and above, then definitely something that you can wear. If you're shorter than 5'2", then you might have to alter them or wear really high heels, which I don't personally advise because it's just not comfortable. And oddly enough, so the brown pair that I just showed you were called the wide press crease trousers, whereas these ones are called the press crease flare trousers. I actually find the, these black ones fit wider than the brown ones. I'm wearing them both in a size 32, and you can kind of see that the black pair are a little bit roomier than the brown pair. They fit a little bit more relaxed on the waist and the hips than the brown pair, and I also think that they're slightly wider as well. So if you want something that fits possibly a little more wider, is a little more flowy as well, I think that the material feels a bit thinner and it moves a bit more flowy than the brown pair then yeah i would go for this black one another really great option from and other stories like i said i think and other stories is probably my favorite like high street place to shop for trousers because they have so many different cuts that i've managed to find quite a few that fit me despite being petite. <laughs> Next up we have Marks and Spencers, a great British brand and I actually ordered two of the same trousers but they come in two different lengths. So I was having a browse on the Marks and Spencer website and they actually have these slim, wait what's the full name? Slim fit ankle grazer trousers. <laughs> what is with these bloody long names? And basically, they have two petite lengths, which I thought was amazing. They have the petite length, and then they have the extra short length. That is the official name, extra short. So Marks and Spencer's words, not mine. <laughs> The only downside is that only the black pair has both petite lengths. So the grey pair is the normal petite length and then the black pair is the extra short length. And I obviously had to get both for scientific purposes. And to be honest, I was actually pleasantly surprised by these trousers. And you know, at £22.50, you really just can't go wrong. <laughs> They definitely don't have the same amount of detailing as the sort of like the and other stories ones, but again, £22.50, I do think you kind of get what you pay for. At the same time, I think that they are pr a pretty like good standard pair of trousers. So if we take a look at the length, you can definitely see that the black pair has more of that ankle grazer look. So if you are five foot two or shorter and you want that really cropped look, then I think definitely go for the extra short length. But at the same time, I do think that the grey pair, so that's the normal petite length, I think that those work really well as well. And I think it just kind of depends what you wear. So if you are someone that wears like sneakers a lot or loafers, then the cropped length definitely would work better. 
But at the same time, I could also style the gray pair with boots and maybe like higher heels. I think that would work with that sort of length. So yeah, it really depends on what you've got in your wardrobe, what shoes you wear more. So just something to think about when you are when you are shopping for different trouser lengths. So those are just a couple of trousers that are out at the moment that I think could fit us petite girls quite well. If you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up or a comment so that I know. If it was helpful, I would love to create this into more of a series. So trying other brands or extending it into other categories such as jeans. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next one.